What's up guys, this is John with Care Customs at our new shop in Tumalo, Oregon. And today I'm gonna to show you something different. I know we normally just uh, focus on OBS Fords, but today I'm gonna to show you my wife's 2003 Audi A4. It's a B6 body that we did some unique stuff to. This car got an ALH TDI out of a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta. And the whole goal with this car was to have a turbo diesel, all wheel drive. So it's good in the snow because we get lots of snow here. And something that uh, got better gas mileage than the 1.8T. I had this ALH TDI sitting around and the cool thing about it is because it's a Volkswagen and Volkswagen and Audi are essentially the same thing, um, it basically bolts in the car. So this has been a super fun car. Um, it's not, it was actually, I kind of did it more as a, um, a, a test, you know, to see if this was going to be a feasible thing, if it was going to work well. And so far I've got about 8,000 miles on it and haven't had a single issue. Average about 35 miles a gallon. Um, I think I can get better with a new injection pump because this one has 300,000 miles on it. Even though I rebuilt the whole engine, uh, didn't send out the injection pump. So I'll show you around the car and I hope you like it. It's been super fun. Uh, so here we go, take a look. All right, so here the most important part, I guess, is the engine bay. You can see this is a uh, rotary pump TDI. Uh, it's out of, a, I believe they're 99 to 2003 Volkswagen TDIs. We, it bolted up to the Audi transmission um, very easily. It uses the same motor mounts as the 1.8T. Just had to modify the accessory bracket down here or and the uh if you can see it the motor mount bracket need to be trimmed and shaved a little bit right there need to do some custom coolant lines which i still haven't painted and i ordered a wiring harness for it um, that came way too long and i haven't taken the time to shorten it yet so it's just tied up there um had to get an exhaust manifold here from a European version of this engine that, you know, that where the turbo is separate from the exhaust manifold. That was pretty easy to do. And then I got an upgraded turbo. I honestly don't even remember which one it is from X-Man Turbos. Uh, it matches the injectors well and it works great. Now the intake manifold on the stock ALH because they're transverse mounted pointed towards the front of the car and that wasn't going to work so basically I just took some scrap metal aluminum that I had in the shop and I cut the intake manifold and built my own intake manifold using just you know part of it for um for the flange so that it points back and it loops around and fits nicely with the the way you know mounted longitudinally the intake right now just kind of sits over there in the fender and i i should build a box here or some sort of heat shield to divide it but this is still just kind of a prototype car. I want, you know, proof of concept, want to make sure this would actually work before dumping too much time and money into it. And it's actually worked out really, really great. This is kind of just a hodgepodge of random parts that were left over in the shop. And it's actually worked out really, really, really well. It runs like a champ. It's got a front mount intercooler down here that you can kind of see 
power steering cooler. It's a stock transmission that's been rebuilt and we put a TDI fifth gear in it so that our cruising RPMs are a little bit lower, be able to cruise at 75 or 80 without a problem. And then here you can see a boost pressure sensor and an exhaust gas temperature sensor. Those are another Amazon item that come to a single gauge that reads boost and exhaust gas temp. I'll show you that we actually have no warning lights and I, I should have said it before, but if you watch the, uh, the EPC light right there, that's the glow plug light. When that light turns off, it's good to start. You can see the tack works, the fuel gauge works, and it's showing average 38 miles a gallon. I adjusted the computer so that it would read closer to accurate with the TDI, but it's still just a little on the high side. But everything works great. It sounds really good and it's a blast to drive. So yeah, the other thing is no warning lights besides the emergency brake, which is because the emergency brake is on. Did a dual exhaust makes it kind of look like a V8 and it already had both openings back there, but it's a little bit on the loud side. So when we're driving, so the reason I'm actually doing this video right now is this is gonna go in the shop and get a muffler and a couple other things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that we're trying to get the YouTube channel back up and going and actually be consistent with videos. So we're gonna be just showing off the different projects that I've got going on, the different products that uh, Care Customs is developing, the different vehicles, you know, we have got a lot of unique things. We'll go over the Shop 73 truck, the single cab, the uh, our Toyota shop truck, the new farm tractor. It's pretty fun. And yeah, like and subscribe and leave us a note in the comments for, you know, if you want to see anything or want another more detailed video on this car or anything else we do. We appreciate the support and hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Cheers.